What's up mob crew? I'm Chris and in today's video I dug up some key pieces of information in the Summers Wells case that some of you may not heard of yet. I go over that and so much more in today's video. Also today's missing person case is Orrin and Orson West, two brothers that went missing in California City. They'll be featured at the end of my video so please stay until the end for that. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the channel everybody where we cover murder, mystery, to the paranormal. So if you're new to the Summer Wells case, please check out my other video I did first to get caught up. And after watching almost every interview that I could find on this case, I came across this video that I have not seen anybody really talk about. This is a small clip made by Don Wells and he talks about this hidden dog trail and he mentions right at the end about search dogs getting a scent and a hit on Summer Wells and it leads through this dog trail and it ends up coming out on Ben Hill Road. Take a look. Here's the road. But yeah. And earlier today, they said there was, when they come up here, somebody was on our property and run off. We don't, I don't, I can't confirm that, but that's what the, they were saying. I don't know, though. Yeah. So that quick, right to the road, there's our mailbox. And this is where the search dogs trail ended that's where the trail goes up through there that's about it so i've never heard about the search dogs getting a hit on summer wells which makes me think don wells was not even supposed to say anything about this but this could be a huge piece of the puzzle that supports my theory if you saw my first video, I pointed out a possible route that an abductor could have taken Summer Wells, and I had no idea about that dog trail at the time. And that trail is right where I thought she was taking. So to go along with my theory, during an interview with Don Wells, he mentions that the neighbors heard what sounded like a muffled scream. Our neighbors, you know, at that time heard a scream, and she thought it was a really weird scream, like somebody was had her mouth covered the whole time and she was trying to catch a breath, kind of a scream. She could scream loud. How close was that neighbor? Well, from the bottom, from the, uh, Ben Hill Road down there at the bottom, mm -hmm. um, their driveway is directly across from ours almost and it just goes straight up to their hill and we mm -hmm. live on this hill. So you don't think Candace would have heard that? The neighbors happened to be right across the way on Ben Hill Road towards the same direction leading from the dog trail. So to get an exact reference to where it leads from the house, notice he points out an old generator and he goes to the right of the generator through the tree line. And if we match that up looking on Google Earth, you can see that same generator here. And so backing out a little bit, I point out the whale's home and the driveway in purple and the Ben Hill Road in orange, and the dog trail is in red, and the neighbors I got circled in yellow, and they were the ones that claimed to hear the scream. So doing an approximate estimate from the dog trail and the neighbors, it is only approximately 456 feet away, which is about 138 meters. And after doing just a little bit of research, I found that the average scream can be heard up to around 590 feet or 180 meters. So it is very possible that the neighbors did hear a scream from that distance. So further supporting my theory about the basement door and how it could have been unlocked for someone to enter and wait for summer, Don Wells claimed in an interview that not only did his sons used to leave the basement door unlocked all the time, but that he would come down and see that they'd left the door wide open as well. Two ways into that room, right? 
down the stairs right. or a back door. Right. Where, how tall is a back door knob off? I mean, you pray. Well, to she could open it, no problem, okay. I'm sure. Um, but the boys would always leave that door open all the time, and we'd tell them, you got to keep that door locked. But they would leave it wide open all the time. We'd go down there, and the door would be wide open you know, or unlocked. That's common. Or, yeah. you know, and, Watch uh, right outside the door there. And sadly, the last people to see Summer Wells alive was the three boys. And apparently Summer had came up and asked one of her brothers if they could come down and play with her. But he was busy playing with his game and didn't want to. That Summer wanted him, him to go down and play with toys with her. And he's like, no Summer, I'm playing this game, I'm not going down there. So she goes down there by herself, as far as we know. I mean, that's the last she was seen was by her boys. So she And there's an interview with Dawn and next to him is one of his sons. And she wanted to go into the house, so my wife watched her go into the door, and she went into the house, and the boys were on the internet, of course, and she wanted to go downstairs and play with her toys. So when her mother come in, she says, where's Summer? She went down in the basement. She didn't answer, so she went down there, and she was gone. And the poor kid is looking down and sad during the interview. That makes me wonder if he was the one Summer asked to come and play. And that really breaks my heart. I hope those boys are doing okay. They have been taken into child services since Summer Wells went missing. Due to the fact that the parents are not coping well, Don Wells has had a bad alcohol problem and has been arrested recently for a DUI and other charges not related to the Summer Wells case. And Candace Bly Wells, the mother of Summer, she has the same problem with alcohol and also some drug use as well. So I have uncovered so much more, but I don't have time to put this all in one video. But I've already started making a part three where I break down all the known possible suspects, including the parents, even though I don't think they were directly involved. I will go over why and so much more in the next video. So let me know what you guys think. Do you support my theory or do you guys have one of your own? Please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell and turn on notifications. I upload daily. If you want to support my channel, it is really cheap. And today's missing person case is two little brothers, Orin and Orson West. They were last seen in California City, California. Please take a close look. Thank you guys so much and take care.